Hello everyone, Brett Kelly here for another Tuesday Tech Tip at 45 Drives. Um, but I guess not so much a tip today, we are uh, sharing some news, some congratulations. Uh, I'd like to congratulate the Rocky Linux team on putting out uh, their release candidate. Um, and really two things to celebrate here. Uh, they met their goal of April 30th, which is impressive. Everyone knows meeting a deadline is incredibly hard, especially when you're a decentralized group of enthusiasts. So fantastic job on that one. And two, congrats on just getting her done. Like there was a lot of people really excited to see you guys succeed here, me included. Uh, we're lucky enough to be, be principal sponsors of Rocky Linux. So uh, this is means a lot to me personally and to 45 Drives as a whole. So uh, congrats guys. All right, so I'll keep a long story short because I could ramble about this all day. But uh, April 30th, so the Friday they just passed, was Rocky's uh, date that they set that they were going to get their release candidate out. So I, among many other people in this IT world, uh, joined into the Mattermost server. For those who are unaware, it's essentially a self-host self your own Slack um, to kind of watch the progress and see when it was going to be released. Um, anyway, as the day went on, it, it, they committed that they were going to do it and then we were getting close and close and it just really turned into a fun kind of like party in the in the channel of everyone just like memes were flying uh, emoticons everyone was just really excited to see the birth of this new operating system that um yeah it was just i was just happy to be part of it i was happy to watch right so as they neared the end of the day um they were getting closer and closer, but they did, they hit a snag when they were doing their final, like full ISO testing. The minimal build worked no problem. The ARM build built no problem, but the full DVD had an issue. Um, so they were like, okay, everyone, like we're gonna troubleshoot this, we'll be back. So at that point I was like, okay, well I'll close down for the night. I'm sure they'll be done. Anyway, they fixed it by that evening and by 7.30 the next morning, so Saturday that just passed, they had the ISO up. So naturally, what did we do? Well, I. Uh, Spent my day Saturday, pulled that down, installing a couple VMs, and, and went hacking. So we were able to get our first build of the 45 drives, Houston, uh, the Rocky. Um, I'm not done by any means. Uh, we have some work to do, but uh, we got a cool little landing page up. And, and uh, uh, then I moved on, and I got a little Ceph cluster built out of three Rocky machines. So that was really fun, too. And really what it is is, is the guys succeeded. They were doing a binary compatible rebuild of RHEL, and it worked minus a few little tweaks to my uh, our Ansible playbooks to um, allow Rocky as a supported distribution, uh, distribution. Everything installed and all our old processes worked as if it was CentOS 8.3 or RHEL 8.3. So um, I guess that's enough of that story for now. Just really wanted to say congratulations. Really excited to see what the open source community could pull together to do. It was really, really interesting, cool. I don't know what word you want to say to watch a group of people who weren't there because they were being paid. They weren't there because they were being told to or fear of losing their job. It was just a group of people who wanted to build something to better the world. There's a lot of people who put a lot of time in over the last few months who will enable success of people worldwide that they'll never meet. And people like that are why the open source community is as big as it is and why it is such an important role in this IT world we're building. So. With that idealism out of the way, way to go everyone, congrats, and I was happy to watch and be a part of it and be a part of it moving forward. So, uh, as a big thank you from me personally and from 45Drives, way to go, thank you Rocky Linux, and uh, can't wait to see where we go next.